These are the three must-have Google Ads scripts that I use every day I'm optimizing Google Ads. I'm not the first one to say this, but Google Ads is changing rapidly, and this really comes back to the way that people are interacting with search. And one of the biggest changes for me that is happening, and it really, really affects digital agencies and also Google Ads specialists or even businesses that are operating and managing their own Google Ads campaigns. And for me, if you are not actively using scripts and different AI agents or tools to streamline your optimization and reporting process inside of Google Ads, very, very quickly, you're gonna be left behind. There are absolutely hundreds of different scripts that you can use to save time inside of Google Ads. But what I wanted to do in this video is I wanted to give you, in my opinion, the top three scripts that you should be using. Now, we do use more than these, but I, the reason why I picked out these three is I really used three criteria to choose the top three. And the first one is ease of use in that it had to be really, really easy to set up and also really, really easy to continually use on a daily basis. Secondly, I put a high value on the amount of time that it's saved. And then thirdly, I put value on does it replicate something that's inside of Google Ads or if it's something that's completely different. And if it just purely replicated something that's in Google Ads, I didn't rate it as high. And the reason for that is because there is a lot of good data you can get inside of Google Ads. Not saying it's everything you, that you need, but for me, I really place high value on scripts that's giving me something that's different to what I can see inside of a Google Ads dashboard. That's the three criteria. Look, I'm gonna share my three. We're gonna go from the third to the first position, to so the top script that I think everyone should be using. If I haven't listed a script that you use every day, why don't you let us know in the comments because it'd be great to hear the different scripts that you are using. And for all the scripts that I am gonna showcase inside of this video, if you go to the description below, you can get links on where you can access all of these links. In these three cases, they are all paid links, but trust me, the amount of money that you pay for these scripts is gonna save you more than enough time to make it profitable for you and your business. And the first script that I recommend is a keyword engram analysis script. Now, there are so many different multiple options. I am gonna show you an example of the one that we use, which is from Mike Rhodes' 8020 agent. If you're not quite sure what that is, that basically groups all of your search terms together around a single word. So for example, for every search term that had the word blue in it, it groups them all together. For every search term that had the word black in it, it groups them all together. The reason why I like a keyword engram analysis is because it allows me to do multiple different things. One, it allows me to see whether we need to add in new extra negative keywords. Secondly, it also allows me to see whether we need to add in some new potential keyword themes. And thirdly, it also allows me to see whether we need to add in some different campaign or ad group segmentations. I wanna give you two real examples of how we've used this tool to make some really positive optimizations in accounts over the past two weeks. First one, we've got a coaching client that we're working through. They're a DTC e-commerce brand that really specializes in military gear. And one of those things that we found, one of their top selling products is a snorkel and dive mask. But whenever someone searched the word dive, as opposed to just snorkel only, whenever that search term, it could include snorkel, could include goggles, but as long as it had that word dive in it, they saw a significantly higher conversion metrics and ROAS at a lower cost for their business. That one report alone allows to really highlight in and focus on where it's the best places for them to sell their products. Because they are a slightly more expensive product, it really added in a level of quality to their keywords, which has really helped to turn around their account. Second example was for an air conditioning business based here in Australia. We went through and found that whenever someone used the word calculator in their searches, because of the time calculate the size of their air conditioning unit is that that also had a really, really significant increase in the conversion metrics. So in that case, what we did is we had to break out a separate search campaign that really focused in on those keyword searches to get a higher level return for their business. And in both cases, what that really allowed us to do is it really allowed us to look at some of the longer term keyword phrases or search terms that people are using to really find out the difference of how that worked inside of their account. Now, the thing I like about this one, this is inside of the 8020 agent portal, is that we're gonna do a keyword engram analysis. We've gone through, selected our account, and all we need to do, once you've obviously set this up for the first time, I do need to let you know that for the 8020 agent, there is an onboarding process where you do need to essentially add in all of your data, your account data into a Google Sheet. The good thing about that is once that's done, you're getting up-to-date hourly data coming into this portal. You just go through, click the 
execute prompt. I'm showing you this in real time and you can see from there. So what's that? About 10 seconds, we've got all of this data. And the thing that I really like about this is that it gives you these recommended actions. Now, I'm not saying to go ahead and just blindly implement all of these actions, but it does really, really let you know for this example, we saw that, you know, for this account, anything that mentions snoring, mouthpiece, pillow performs really, really well. Where is some of these ones when it's talking about relief, sleep or apnea, it's not performing as well. And then it does also give some extra recommendations around negative keywords to add or to create separate ad groups, depending on this reported data. Don't wanna go through and repeat this after every script that I do. So I do wanna let you know that what I do with a lot of this data that these scripts give me and these prompts give me, it really, really lets me know to, these are some of the different areas that I need to go investigate. These are the, some of the actions that we need to go check. But what it does do is it just saves a whole heap of time of me having to go through and go through, you know, for this account, there was literally thousands upon thousands of different search terms. And as you saw in the space of 10 seconds, it gives me four or five really, really clear optimizations that then I can go through, have a quick look at the account and apply what I think is gonna be beneficial for my account. But as I said, the reason why I love that Ngram keyword analysis is because it really allows me to do three core optimizations negative keywords, new keywords, and also different segmentation options for different opportunities that we're seeing from the search data. My second most popular script that I'm using is actually one that I created myself alongside with Mike Rhodes. Now, just so you don't think, of course, Aaron, you're gonna be recommending your own script. The reason why I put this one in here is because I created this script because there was nothing there that I really saw that filled this need. And this is a smart bidding prompt analysis. If you spent any time in Google Ads, you know that probably one of the most significant changes that you can make inside of a Google Google Ads account to either increase performance or sometimes it does happen where it tanks the performance in your account is to either start a maximize conversions or maximize conversion value bidding strategy or to actually change a target ROAS or a target CPA. So what I did in collaboration with Mike Rhodes for this script, we actually used the teaching of the yes, no scale of how I go through to optimize a Google Ads account to make sure whether it's ready for smart bidding. We put that rule through, so it gives you a yes, no, or wait answer. So what I'm gonna do here, let's jump into a screen share because I'm gonna take you through, firstly, the rationale behind it so you, you really understand that. And then I'll show you how easy it is to execute the prompt and the benefits of this script. And one thing I wanna add here as well is if you don't wanna use this prompt is that if you follow that link in the description below, you can actually get a free resource, which is my smart bidding checklist. And this takes you through the exact step by step process and rationale that this prompt is using on your account to give you the same data. So while it may not be as quick, it does give you the same education level so you can go through and at least have confidence with whether your account is ready to add in a smart bidding or whether it is time to change the targets inside of your account. Let's go and have a look. All right, so before I take you through the smart bidding prompt and show you how quick it is to use, what I do wanna let you know is I wanna take you through the rationale and the step-by-step -step process that this prompt uses. And this is what I call my smart bidding checklist. And what you really wanna be going through is it's essentially a yes, no question and answer. So what you're firstly looking at is that has your campaign generated at least 30 purchases or conversions over the past month? If that's a no, it'll just instantly give you a wait. If it's a yes, it says go to the next question. Then over the past four weeks, has your weekly conversions been stable with no more than 20% variance? And the reason for why 20% variance for me is so important is because after years of using smart bidding, we've really seen that if you've got a campaign that's got a high level of conversions one week, then a low level the next week, high level the next, smart bidding doesn't perform as well. Smart bidding generally performs better when you're seeing an either you're seeing one of these scenarios, a stabilization of your conversion. So you might have 25 conversions one week, 22 the next, 23 the next, or if you're seeing an upward scale. So you're going 20, 25, 30, 35. So that's yes, you then go to the next one, which is have you changed your target bidding strategy or target rollout strategy over the past six weeks? That's a no, we wanna wait. Reason being is when you start a new target bidding strategy, it only takes two or three weeks to really, really work out and whether it's working well or not. So then you wanna just make sure you've got enough time for it. If that's a no, that then you go to the next step. Have you changed your budget? And this purely just comes down to is that we find it really, really hard to increase your spend and your profitability at the same time. And then if that's a no, then you can go through and change the strategy. So that's the rationale that it's got. Now let me show you how that works inside of your smart bidding prompt. So this is called the smart bidding analysis. And it's in conjunction with 80-20. We go through, once again, set up the account, select the account, and then we just go down into execute prompt. We're gonna run this in real time. And as you can see from here, it's taken, what's that? 
about 10, 15 seconds to run this. This individual account has, has six different campaigns in it. So what that's done, even for me and more experienced Google Ads specials out there, going through and doing this analysis, you know, it does even take, even if we do it quickly, it's still five, 10 minutes per campaign. Whereas this has done six campaigns in 10 to 15 seconds. So you can see how quickly this will multiply and really, really make it worthwhile for your time. And what it does basically, it brings you up the current setup, lets you know whether you've got your target ROAS running, goes through and it says, yes, you need to proceed. And it also gives you whether you should set a target ROAS. The one thing I would say with this is that if you see that as a no, definitely no more time taken. You just skip past it and go to the next one. If you see it as a yes, what I do recommend. So this one, it's saying yes, recommend to proceed. And it's saying to go through and actually increase the target ROAS. What I'll do in that case is I would still go through and double check that. What I mean by that is still run through the latest process, go through data, look at the last you know six weeks of data and just make sure that you're really, really happy with increasing that target ROAS. Then you can also layer in your own rationale and you go, hey, look, we are wanting to increase the budget. So we want to keep the ROAS there. You can add in all of those extra frameworks there, but it really gives you a real quick yes or no so you can make the decision or whether you need to go further. Now that brings us to number one, which what I think should be the number one script that anyone who is running Performance Max should use. And this might come as no surprise because I think it's probably the most popular Google Ads script out there. And that's Mike Rhodes PMAX script. When Google Ads did release some extra PMAX channel reporting data and extra asset group level data for Performance Max campaigns, inside of the Google Ads dashboard this year. There was some talk about, you know, whether this script would still be required or as valuable. And in my opinion, it's still as much of a requirement as it was before the reports came out inside the Google Ads dashboard. I'm happy that Google is giving that data, but for me, it just doesn't really go far enough. And you still get a lot more valuable data inside of Mike Rhodes' Performance Max script. At the end of this video, I'll also show you an interview that I had with Mike that runs through all this whole script. So. It is something that's really, really valuable. For me, I would not run Performance Max without this extra script. Because I'm gonna show you an interview where we take a deep dive into how we use it to optimize our Google Ads campaigns. I won't go into too far right now, but the reason why I still really, really like Mike Rhodes' Performance Max script is because it gives you some really good overview data so you can see a really, really strong flow, some really, really clear analysis. The other thing I like is that you can see a separation between your search network and your shopping network. You can see the spend, you can see the ROAS data that's there. The other thing that I do like about the Performance Max script is in the campaign data, especially if you're running multiple Performance Max campaigns, you can quickly change from campaign to campaign to see what the spending levels, to make sure that you've got a different segmentation between the different products so that the Performance Max campaigns just aren't targeting the same products. And then the other thing that I really love about the Performance Max script is the performance data, where it really breaks it into the quadrants so you can see your high performing products. It also lets you know zombie products, which are products that are getting no spend at all. So it really really allows you to make some really good segmentation options that you can use inside of your Google Ads account. It just gives you that extra data, in my opinion, in a much cleaner way. Thank you for joining me. As I said, what I'm gonna be doing, if you follow the link in the description below, you can see the links of where you can get all of those individual scripts. And also in the link below, you can also get my smart bidding prompt checklist if you want to go down that option as well. But if you would like to know more about Micro Script, where we give a really big tutorial on how to use the Performance Max script, I want you to go through and watch this video right here. Once again, thanks for joining me. I really, really appreciate your support and I look forward to seeing this video real soon. See ya.